Hello, I'm Ken Robinson and this is one of my video responses to questions I've been sent on Twitter. See, I find this fascinating because the most powerful narrative in conventional forms of education, the strongest story that we're told, is that if you work hard at school and graduate high school, if you go to college and get a college degree, then you'll have a secure job for the rest of your life. That used to be true. It was true when I was at college in the 70s. It was true until probably the mid-90s. It's not true now. And the fact is that the value of college degrees and diplomas has fallen dramatically. This is not because, as far as I can tell, that standards are falling. Whether they are or not is another question, and we might come on to that. What is true is that more and more people are getting college qualifications. More and more people are going into higher education around the world. And this is the result of two things. It's the result of the growth in the world's population. And secondly, the expansion of the knowledge economy. More and more people make their living by using the power of their brains, so to speak, than just the strength of their bodies. And that's a big shift from the industrial age when very many people were employed for physical labor. So that narrative has underpinned the growth of public education and it's now crumbling as a story. And it seems to me the biggest single symptom of the need for radical change. I don't think it means that it's a bad idea to go to college. I don't think it's a bad idea to get degrees and diplomas. But we do have to be realistic about what they mean and what they entitle us to when we do get them. Some people don't want to go to college. They want to get right on and do something else. Or they don't want to go to college immediately. They want to get into the world. They want to work or volunteer or do something else for a bit and have a break from education. But this insistence that you have to go to college is based upon the unquestioned value of qualifications like degrees and diplomas for everybody. So I think there are two morals here. One is that if people want to pursue, if students after school want to pursue some other route, they should be free to do it. They should be encouraged to do it. And secondly, that if you do go to college and when you go to college, Institutions of all sorts, universities, design schools, dance schools, every type of institution that provides post-secondary education has to recognise that their students need a much broader range of, of aptitudes, abilities. Uh, they need a much richer curriculum, a much richer form of education that will develop their talents in very different ways, that will celebrate diversity and will equip them to face the many challenges they're going to face after they leave school, that the single qualification will no longer be a passport to employment. As somebody once said, at the very best, it's a visa. And uh, a visa doesn't last long before you have to renew it and, and find some other reason to do what you are doing.